Ladies and gentlemen, here at the Media Center Ukraine, we always welcome you and we're, we're grateful that you have the courage to be here with us and uh, talk about our battle for freedom. These words are especially relevant in the today. I would like to give the floor to Maxim Kozitsky, the head of the Lviv uh, Regional Military Administration and Andriy Sadovy, mayor of Lviv. Good evening. We're hearing sirens again, so please, uh, after this briefing, we've had two hits of uh, infrastructure objects. So I'm, I'll be very quick. One, one hit an, o um, car, uh, an auto base in Lviv, one hit an object of uh, defense structure, uh, a factory, a plant that is also in residential quarter. Um, there have been two strikes on each, two hits of each. Five people so far after the first have uh, turned for medical assistance. We've had no uh, deaths, no victims, no casualties. And the second, as far as the second hit, uh, they're putting out a fire. Thank you. This is now the second uh, strike in the past week. Uh, the strikes are very clearly aimed at infrastructure. Uh, the destruction is reasonably serious. Uh, the uh, shock wave has damaged the infrastructure of the educational uh, infrastructure. It's a school, it's a kindergarten. Uh, some windows have been broken. The only thing, uh, the only good thing is that we have no casualties, but really we do have people who have been hurt. I think that with today's uh, strikes, the aggressor uh, wants to say hello to President Biden, who is currently in Poland. And Lviv is, of course, only 70 kilometers from the Polish border. Uh, so I think the world has to understand, it has to be clear to everyone that the threat is very, very serious. Nobody knows uh, the following plans, the uh, subsequent plans. All of the city cities are in a very difficult situation at the moment. So uh, God willing, uh, there will be as few casualties as possible. And the more weapons we get, the sooner the uh, anti-air uh, systems arrive in our country, the, the, the sooner our victory will come. Glory to Ukraine. We will take a few very quick questions. Microphone, please. Could you please tell us uh, wh what do you think about for international media that show the picture from of the airstrikes uh, live, particularly CNN and BBC are doing this? I think that uh, international journalists have been in uh, hot spots many times uh, and have to understand that we're a peaceful city and they have to act accordingly to the rules of journalism. Uh, more questions? Yes, please. Final, in the last row. You, French uh, TV, I have a question. Friday of last week, you said no city were safe anymore, that anything could happen from now on. That's the proof. So are you going to strengthen, reinforce, the security policy, and if yes, how so? First of all, um, even prior to February 25th, we uh, removed the objects of military infrastructures from Lviv, and the damage that we've had are buildings, and really the aggressor is hitting, is, is, is aiming at civilians, at our objects. So the level of security is as high as it can be, in our city at the moment. Uh, the same goes for the region. But again, I have to stress, we don't know what the following uh, objectives and goals, uh, targets of Russian rockets are. The rockets that have been sent from Sevastopol today, dispatched from Sevastopol, and which have uh, hit many targets, not only in Lviv, but also in other objects in the country. We're all in the same boat. The sooner we um, receive quality weapons and uh, systems of uh, anti-air defense, um, the safer our cities will be, and our citizens will be, and you will be. Thank you. Last question, please. Uh, thank you. Uh, with us were Maxim Kozinski, head of the Lviv military administration, and Risa Dovey, mayor of Lviv. Uh, major request, please, please go to the shelter right now, because we don't know what the target is. Your health, your security is a priority. Please go to the shelters. Thank you. from uh, security service of Ukraine. Roxolana Yavorska. Dear journalists, good evening everyone. This is very brief, just two minutes, some very brief information. The security service of Ukraine and the Ministry of Defense have numerous times called you. We insist now 
please do not photograph and do not video, do not film. We do have peaceful civilians. People might die from your publications and your live air. You're, you're serving as fire correctors for the enemy. Please, please stop this in order to forestall the civilian casualties because your, this information might be covered by the 14th, 114th uh, article of our criminal code as sp espionage or for Ukrainian journalists as state treason. This gives information to the enemy. Please do not transmit what was d damaged. Do not transmit where the shells go. You might in this way correct the enemy's fire and bring about civilian casualties. Uh, I will have information later, but r r right now, because we have an air raid alarm, please p proceed to the shelter. Use our shelter in, in the basement and uh, stand with Ukraine.